This great room effortlessly combines practicality with comfort. And at $30,000, it's a lot of room. We found two siblings who are willing to try and recreate this incredible home office in their own space using only 10% of the original budget. With only $3,000 to spend and only three days to do it, this family rivalry will certainly be heating up as our two teams try for the winning design match. One high-end designer room. Two homeowners trying to match it. With only one-tenth the original budget. The designer of the model room will judge which couple comes out on top. And gets to keep a prized piece from the designer room for making the best design match. This beautiful room combines the functionality of a home office with the relaxed style of a living room and is the wonderful work of designer Margie Doyle White. My design style would be somewhat casual chic, more so on the casual side. I like to create an atmosphere that is inviting, warm and cozy, where people want to come in and don't want to leave. So I love the clean lines, simple, simple elegance. Margie, this office is absolutely beautiful, and I think, I mean, I could work here. I could work here, I too, for sure. Happily work here. Oh, good, I can work here, too. <laughs> the desk was basically my point of reference in terms of size. Mm -hmm. So when we chose the desk, I had to keep into consideration that it had to be of the same scale with all the other pieces that we picked for this room. It couldn't overpower no. anything else. Everything in this room feels like it was here for a reason. They all belong here. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. This is the personality of the homeowner. And that's so important when you're designing a room is to take their personality and, and work with it. Great. So I will be really interested to see what they come up with. Jonathan, <laughs> he's very handy. Amy and Jonathan will be transforming Amy's office, currently crowned with leftovers from her university days. I'm gonna help her achieve a more mature style that will reflect the professional she's become. Amy. Jonathan, welcome to our model room. Classy, I like it. Wow. It's very grown up. Well, if you saw my office, you would see why I need this office. office. <laughs> well, that's It's good. a polar opposite. It's a polar opposite. So we have a long way to go then. Yes, I love that table. What's lovely about it is it's quarter sawn oak, done in the traditional mission style, but it, that's what allows all the beautiful grain to come through. It's a beautiful piece. Well, the one thing that's very obvious is I would need a lot more shelf space. And I don't know that I need a fireplace, although I like the look of it. Okay, I'm here to help you, but okay. it's your room and it has to work for you. So when we see your space, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that. Okay. Yeah. No, I love using my hands. Amy's no. little brother, Andrew, and fiance, Deborah will be renovating Andrew's office slash storage room slash mudroom. Hi, guys. Hello. Well, wow. here's your office. Very bright. Now, do we have a big room or do we have a small room like this? It's, I think it's even smaller than this, mm -hmm. so. Oh, great. Cozier. Co okay, that's a, that's a good attitude, <laughs> good attitude. Do you have room for a chair? Yeah, we have a chair there already. It's actually very similar to this. Mm -hmm. It's just a bit, um, it's been through the ringer. What do you think of the um, built-ins here? They're right up our alley as far okay. as the style is concerned. So you're toward the minimal, more contemporary side, we, or what? Well, we like to be in theory, but I'm also <laughs> a pack rat. So, like but me, I, but totally. I do like the whole, the, all the chachkas. Like it's kind of like things off a charm bracelet almost. So, how do you feel about the competition? Oh, it'll be great. Like it'll be good to crush her. I mean, and her spirit. <laughs> but she'll, you know, get a slightly okay. amazing. <laughs> Here we are, all one big happy family. Family's a good point, yeah. with our uh, brother <laughs> and sister competitors yeah. here. For now, it's a happy family. I'm totally confident that I'm gonna win, so. And I'm yeah. confident yeah. that she thinks she's gonna win. So. <laughs> so while we're dealing with this rivalry, let's talk about what the rivalry is all about. The prize is the fabulous mission oh, star. Nice. Wow. With Very a nice. price tag of over $1,500. Wow. wow, that is a showpiece. I cannot wait to get it into my office. Now I've already etched my name on it, so I'm just gonna- But take we it. have the same initials, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> okay, Hal, I think it's time we got out of the way. 
we'll be playing a little upstairs downstairs. Amy lives upstairs and Andrew and Deborah live downstairs in the same house. For me, I'm heading downstairs to see just how small Andrew's office is. Hello, folks. It's small. Very small. It's cozy, as I mentioned. It's, uh... Cozy, yes. It's... You take Packrat to a whole other level. We definitely rather use a lot of our existing stuff because Absolutely. this house is jam-packed as it is. Exactly. And it may explode if we bring <laughs> one more thing in. Hi. 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 Welcome. Whoa. Bit of a drop there. I don't think it's to code. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, number one, I see a little project for the carpenter. <laughs> so, this is my wee office. It is wee. <laughs> it's, it's all I really need, but uh, it's obviously maxed out. So, I've been thinking about the walls. What do you think if we went a couple shades lighter, like this? Well, I have to tell you, I think That's... you're a very, very smart person. Wouldn't it open up the place a bit, make it Absolutely. a little brighter? Absolutely. If we're going to start at the beginning, we might as well start all over. It's not a big space to paint. Yeah. And I like to paint. Oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Downstairs, it's my job to help Andrew and Deborah make the okay. best match. Then We've decided to replace the fireplace here. with a magazine rack. I actually do like this, especially if they match it. You know, uh -huh. this is kind of like... But I think that this is still going to show some of your personality on. Um, I think this could be fun. And then maybe we could do some sort of a stool. Right. Mm -hmm. For our clients. <laughs> or not. Your your sister to come no down. No way, she's not allowed in this room. Watch the desk. <laughs> Gotta clear the room. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to paint. Then we need to lay the floor. We need a desk chair. We're gonna look at artwork and pulling some accessories in, but we know you've got lots. You're good? You ready? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I don't think a fireplace will fit in here. Instead, can I have more storage or bookshelves? <laughs> Is that allowed? I don't know. <laughs> what about if we put a half bookcase across the bottom, closed in all of the bottom, but that would still leave us a space over here that was sort of like above yeah, the mantle. Us, it gives us the same look. Yeah. I think that's totally a fair compromise. Okay. And I think it'll still look very much like that office. Okay. Our winning plan, lighter walls. Built-ins with custom cornice and custom hardware. The reading area. Reading area. Also, maybe an ottoman. How do we feel about the game plan? We can't lose. I think Excellent. it's fantastic. Excellent. Downstairs, Andrew's also started painting, and Deborah is trying her hand at puttying. Do you think we're going to be able to get all this done today? For sure. Even with a couple of... I, I, I was just, I, I was watching too. Yeah, this is um, the non-sandable kind. So I just, really oh, just oh, that's, so, I thought it was sandable. No, that's why I wasn't. No. So you're going to have to really, oh, okay. and we can always go back over it and do more coats. Okay. It's so, quick dry, yeah. so you're, you're good. Just okay, sorry, I should have asked that, I guess. Not a problem. Ooh, Ooh it looks nice. Looks Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look it. But do you like the color? Yeah, it's a great hey. color. It looks good. Hey, huh? So, I love it. Absolutely. I mean, I like this, but I love this. The room has to be finished painted. Yes. <laughs> I'm almost done already. The bookshelves have to be put together. Oh, no. He's the man. That's right. <laughs> have fun tonight, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Next, Andrew and Deborah's plans for a design match may go up in smoke when they realize their small room isn't big enough for a fireplace. It's not really working. It's day two. Brother and sister competitors Andrew and Amy have made their plans and are hard at work, trying to match this $30,000 office with only 10% of the budget. Jonathan, Amy's partner, has started on the bookshelves, but seems to be having a bit of trouble. Maybe I should have looked at the instructions. That's it. Downstairs, Amy's brother Andrew and fiance Deborah use their day with Jamie the carpenter to install new flooring. Voila. Nice. Perfect. And upstairs, Amy's a bit behind on painting the walls. You're not finished! Just a little swatch. <laughs> You're not finished! Well, the color looks great. 
Yeah, I do like it. happy with it? Yeah, really happy. And it does actually make the room look bigger, doesn't it? I really it think it does. It just pushes out the walls, which yeah. is bookcases. Yeah. Great. Jonathan did a great job. He did it all by himself. Congratulations. Very good. Oh, they're now pre-drilled. I prefer to have it here, but I'm afraid if we fill this, yeah. might, you know, muck up the line. So, Amy, I would say finish the wall, and I then know. we need to go shopping. Sounds like fun. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Looking good? Looking yeah. good? Yeah. Floors are done almost? Your walls looking good? Yeah, the color's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah. I uh, got fabric. Here. Okay, ready? Wow, it's the perfect match. Good job. That's great. That's fantastic. Little well, the windows are a perfect design match, but I can't say the same for the fireplace. Yeah. 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 So, Meredith, I've got this magazine rack slash fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really working. And if we lowered this, this would be cut them a little bit lower. That would just, that again would look a It'd little bit like It's the dollhouse doll yeah. syndrome. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we won't be able to do the match here, but we want to emulate the feel of like that kind of colonial place. We could still do like the magazine rack. Yeah, totally. Mm. Sounds like it's time to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> come with me, come with me, come with me. I think I, yes, yes. A club chair. A club chair. A square club chair. A square yeah. club chair. Come and sit. Try. Yeah, I can really curl up in this thing. It's right. Country. It's very comfortable. And we have our square line. Yeah. We have the fact that the chair itself, the body, is much lower. This is it. I think so, too. I really like this. I like those. What? The, the red glass and the vases. You know, that's great because she did have red accents in the room. And red's my favorite color. There you go, red's your favorite color. So we have to have some of that. And I think that'll look terrific against the white on one of the shelves. And you know, this piece, it's not the same, but it's kind of reminiscent of what she had the peacock feathers in. You know what I think? I think we take them all and try them. What do you say? Excellent. Good idea. I love shopping that way. How about this chair? This um, is, I don't. I can't remember exactly what it's like, but I mean, this would be yeah. Hemingway-esque. It would definitely be. It's got that sort of. We talked about kind of um, that British colonial kind exactly. of feel. Can you sit in that? If I break it, do I have to buy it? Pretty much. Okay. That's why I'm asking you to sit in it. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah. No, it's not bad. Yeah, the wood color is really nice. It is. Mm -hmm. Now, I this one here. Okay, you try that one. Should you be lounging and someone bringing you a nice tea? <laughs> yeah, it's more something, you know, as if you were sort of sitting outside and uh, as opposed to, you know, sitting, sitting on a computer upright at a desk and doing some work. This is the match in terms of like it's got the leather strapping, mm -hmm. the shape of it, the feel of it. Totally. So, yeah, well, do you know, if we want to win the desk, I think we should go with this chair. In order to beat <laughs> your sister? I definitely want to beat my sister. How about uh, that thing right there? It looks dangerous. You want that for the bookshop? Yeah, Good cool. eye, Andrew. Didn't the model room have one of those? Let's keep that pointing away from me, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Next, our guest designer judges how our couple's rooms measure up. When I walked in, it, it's so fresh, and yet things popped out of me. It's day three of Design Match, and our couples are rushing to match this designer room at one-tenth the budget. Andrew and Deborah have painted their walls, installed new flooring, and are now making balances for the windows. Good. All right. Great. Oh my god, we're gonna win! <laughs> Amy and Jonathan have also finished painting, assembled bookshelves, and are now ready to add the finishing touches to their room. Morning! Hey! Hi, Al. Hi. Look at all our stuff. Oh, it's all here, it's yeah. all here. You brought the apple. I brought uh, the apple. And we got, and there are the handles. Jonathan got, them got on. the uh, handles. Perfect. Perfect. 
know what I say now? Do stuff? Let's start setting okay. it to the <laughs> Amy and Jonathan purchased a lot of decorative items for their room, but they've come in right on budget at $3,000. And while we're on the subject of money, that $1,500 prize desk is arriving. It works. <laughs> <laughs> and what I actually like best about it yes. is that I will get it and Andrew will not. Yes! Go team! <laughs> Andrew and Deborah are also ready for the finishing touches on their room. Continue. What was the result of our big dilemma here? Oh, the fireplace. Yeah, so uh, we have this ladder, which we'll, we'll put in there, and then... Okay. It's, so Does now, this stay there? No, or? that's okay. gonna... So now it's a magazine rack. Which I love. Which the fireplace was gonna be anyways, right? Right. So, it fits oh, I love the dark. I love the dark. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Yeah, it's a great. Have uh, some great old books. Wow. Um, yeah. This cognac bottle, like just really things that would <laughs> Ernest Hemingway would probably use. Deborah and Andrew put his collectibles to creative use and saved a lot of money. They also came in under budget at $2,405. I love yeah. that so much of the room is actually yours. Yeah. I just, I love it, and, mm -hmm. and I think Marty's gonna love it as well. It's time for guest designer Margie Doyle White to judge how well our couples have matched her room. Hello. And it's Margie. Hello, Hello. welcome. <laughs> hi, hi. Welcome to our palace. Mm. Wow. Deja vu, I <laughs> Come this on is in. amazing. You know what? You've captured the feel. Yeah. I love the built-ins. Oh, I love the apple. I know. And actually, a lot of the stuff on the shelves is from my own personal collection. The cameras, the acorn, and it Prince pays. Albert in a can. It pays to be a pack rat. <laughs> I know. Love the, the bamboo um, ladder. Yeah, mm -hmm. what we want to do is emulate your, your focal point the way the fireplace was. Honestly, that ladder is, is unbelievable. Based on the space, I mean, you can't have a fireplace and then no. I mean, your desk. I mean, you get a little hot while you're <laughs> reading your mail. I love the painting with the clock. I'm finding these pieces a little big because when I first walked into the room, I was somewhat overpowered by a lot of stuff here. I like this, the faux Romans. We were very fortunate to find matching fabric. Deborah actually sewed all of the drapery herself. You guys have done a great job, but it's not over yet. So I'm sure you know the drill. If you see me come back into the room, you've won. But if you see a couple of dirty movers, oh, bummer. Well, we'll be seeing you later. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I love your confidence. <laughs> Margie, welcome to our room. Hey, nice to meet Hi. you. Welcome Hi. to my office. Wow, this is absolutely unbelievable. What I loved about this room, it's a little bit more feminine than the room that I designed. And I quite like that. And especially since it is your office, mm -hmm. then I like, I like how you added your own personal touch. I'm not girly girly, but I'm not a man. When I walked in, it, it's so fresh. And yet, things popped out at me. Like the clock popped, the tchotchkes that you put into the built-ins, the scale, the symmetry, it's, it's wonderful. You've really captured it. Your Eiffel Tower is great. It's a little cluttery though. I think there's just one too many. Yes. I love the color of the walls. They're a little different. Yeah, that was our decision. We decided to go a little lighter because we thought it would open up the room a little bit more. And I think in terms of balance and proportion and emphasis, you've done it all. Thanks for coming to visit. Thanks. And I know we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> When I walked into these rooms and they did match my designs, it was a feeling of, of wow, I mean, these people really achieved <laughs> my expertise. Next, designer Margie Doyle White will reveal which couple has best matched her signature room and who will get to keep the coveted prize desk. It was a very hard decision. I had to go back and forth. 
so many times back into the rooms um, to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Designer Margie Doyle White has visited and evaluated both rooms, and our couples anxiously await her final decision. I'm nervous. I'd say we're 50 50. I, I, you know, I don't know, but if she had that hard a time, I'd say same thing. Mm. And it's totally up to her. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm nuts. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm never going to live this one down. Good job. Good job. Not only did you find pieces that were the same as my original design, a lot of this stuff was yours too, and a lot of your personality came out in this, which is, I think is really important. You also captured the feeling. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And we beat Amy, which is really, <laughs> yeah. well, I'll give her the desk. I don't care anymore. Well, make sure you don't break your necks on the way down the staircase. <laughs> Both rooms were able to copy my design. They did a really good job at it. However, there was so much more feeling to this room. There was more character. There was more like heart and soul. There was more history. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Get grabbed. Ah, so you win one thing in your whole life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Consider it my wedding gift to you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, very Ooh. generous. <laughs> you weren't expecting anything. <laughs> so we've got two fantastic rooms and another great design match.